After placing patient information in the EKG machine, you can pull up your patient map. And this is a guide to EKG lead placement on the chest. The right arm and the left arm leads should mirror each other on the limbs. They should not be placed over bony prominences. The leg leads also should mirror each other and not be placed over bony prominences. To acquire the 12 EKG tracing, you can press the green uh, dot on the 12 lead EKG arm. You can press the green dot on the machine itself or on the EKG screen. That acquires the EKG lead tracing. You want to wait until all um, areas of the EKG are visible on the screen. If you have a red line on your screen, the red dotted line indicates that the lead is not connected. Uh, a yellow or an orange area means there's artifact being detected. So you want to wait till all areas of the EKG are green and that will give you um, an EKG that's most easily read. Once your EKG is acquired, you want to press the buttons on the right side to print it, save it, or transfer that into the electronic medical record. Once the EKG has been obtained, you can take the leads off the patient. If the, if the patient's going to need serial EKGs, we recommend that the leads be left in place. The 12 lead EKG leads themselves can be wiped with purple wipes in between patient use. The alligator clips again to be positioned correctly on the patient's chest. The blue part of the alligator clamp needs to be up. You can remember blue as in blue sky, blue goes up.